Well, it's fall, and that means that you can go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin spice latte or pumpkin spice whatever, but it also means, more importantly, that iOS has a new version. It's iOS 14. I'm Andrew Martinick with Digital Trends, and iOS 14 is probably waiting to download on your phone right now. There are five reasons why you should download immediately and two reasons to maybe wait a few weeks before you hit that button. First up is the app library. Now I know that if you've had your phone for months or years, you've accumulated hundreds of apps on seven or eight or nine home screen pages, who knows what. The app library fixes that problem. It organizes all of your apps in the rightmost home screen and it organizes them into smart folders by category and then surfaces the right ones that you use the most often. It gets rid of all that clutter on your home screens, no more messing with folders. Here's the big one. The grid of icons on iOS is done. You can pull widgets off from the side left of the home screen into the main home screen and mix and match with your apps and folders. You can pull out widgets that show the weather or the calendar or just a photo slideshow, upcoming trip information, anything that would normally show up in the widget view can now be displayed right alongside all of your apps. And when third-party developers get to updating their apps, the possibilities are limitless. With iOS 14, the iPhone actually steals a feature from iOS 13 on the iPad. You can have picture-in-picture -picture video. So once you're watching a video in an app or any video in the Safari web browser, you can go home and it'll start playing up in the corner while you do other things. This is particularly important if you have a Mac's iPhone, you have tons of screen real estate, you can do two things at once. It's not quite the same as having split screen, but you can catch up on that YouTube video while you scroll through Twitter if you'd like. Don't you hate when you're in the middle of an intense game or watching a serious video and a phone call comes in and takes over the entire screen? Yeah, apparently Apple did too. iOS 14 gets rid of full screen takeovers like that. So whenever you're interacting with the phone or Siri, you just get a little nudge on the top or the bottom of the screen and the rest of the content stays active and you can quickly dismiss it if you don't wanna deal with it. Apple's Mail and Safari apps are pretty good, but you shouldn't be tied into just using those. iOS 14 lets you choose another browser or another Mail app to handle any calls for browser or Mail, and you can set these as default across the entire system once you have them downloaded. You don't have to be tied into Apple's ecosystem anymore. Now, unfortunately, I need to temper your expectations of iOS 14 just a little bit with two main reasons why you should hold off on downloading. The first is that the widgets are really interesting, but they haven't been updated across the board. There are still tons of widgets from third-party developers, even the big names, that are stuck over in the widgets pane and can't be pulled out onto the home screen. The second one is something that you've probably experienced if you updated from iOS 12 to 13 last year. iOS releases can be pretty buggy at the start. Sometimes it can take an additional point release or two or three to get up and running stable without some kind of show-stopping bugs, especially with third-party apps. So those are the reasons why you should update your phone to iOS 14 and also a couple reasons why you might want to wait instead. Have you updated iOS 14 yet? If you have, let us know in the comments what your favorite features are and maybe what bugs you've been finding. For more coverage of all things iOS 14, be sure to go to digitaltrends.com.